I'm in this company manage project in Jira, and I want to quickly see the progress of an epic or of a story. Currently in Jira, you have to get an add-on or use advanced roadmaps. Also, if you want to see the actual progress based on story points or numeric effort, that's also not currently possible without advanced roadmaps. In this Coda doc, what I've done is imported all my Jira issues. You'll see that all here in this backend data table. I've associated all these issues for different projects here in Coda. We have a bunch of statuses and normally when you look at the progress for a project or epic or story in Jira in advanced roadmaps, you'll probably see it based on just total of number of done issues divided by total issues, which is this progress bar. But what happens usually is one issue or issue with sub-issues is much larger in effort in size compared to other issues. What if number 10 here on this list is actually a much bigger issue and requires many more person hours of effort? How is that captured within this percentage progress? So the key here is if you add in a column where you can manually type in the numeric effort or story points or person hours or however you want to do it, that gives you a better indication of what the progress is once you do the, once you do the division. So you notice here how if I look at the issue progress, Pet Pulse has a 33% progress just based on the number of count of done divided by total issues. But if I look at the effort, I can see a better picture of which project um, is progressing faster or slower compared to the rest. So DeLorean, although it's progressing slower from a total issue standpoint, the effort is actually higher than the other projects. And that's because of the done issues here, number the two, those issues had a higher effort involved. So sometimes when people are entering their issues in Jira and you're not using story points yet, one issue or uh, sub issue might be much greater in effort compared to other issues. So by assigning a numeric effort, you can get a better indication of how much is being completed. Another way of doing this without having to put in story points or person hours is using, using t-shirt sizing. Each of these t-shirt sizes has an associated number value. If I go back into my data table, my data page, small is 10, medium 20, so on and so forth. You can also change these. Back in my list of issues, I have given everything a t-shirt size and the t-shirt effort is just a formula that takes the effort associated with that t-shirt size. And so if I scroll down here back to my project summary, but if I look at the done divided by total effort based on the t-shirt sizing, the walkwise project is actually much more further along because more issues in the walkwise project have a large t-shirt size and a large t-shirt size has a larger t-shirt effort. And if you want to look at the back end table where all this happens is just look in the data page. We have a project table where I'm associating all my Jira issues with a given project. And you can see all the columns that are included on the front page. These are all just selectively hidden on the front page. All of these columns have formulas in them, uh, allowing you to filter and sort depending on um, what you're trying to calculate. And these progress bars also have formulas too, uh, built off of the previous columns in the table. Down here is the t-shirt size, small table. And then this is the full list of Jira issues along with all the other related columns that allow you to input the effort, the t-shirt size, and all of that bubbles up back into a summary table, which is in this project table. If you are dealing with an issue where certain issues or certain uh, stories in your project are bigger or smaller compared to other ones and you're having a hard time tracking the actual progress based on just the number of issues completed versus the total issues, you can start playing around with story points, person hours, getting an article number for the effort and calculating progress based on that number or using a simpler t-shirt sizing method and associating a number with that t-shirt size.